Washington, President Joe Biden highlighted a new plan to help struggling restaurants rebound from the pandemic. Meanwhile, there's a mini revolution happening within the Republican Party on Capitol Hill. RGC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is covering it all live from Washington, D.C. tonight. Ben. Nicole Calvin, President Biden said the GOP is trying to identify what it stands for, but today he was focused on helping businesses hard hit by the pandemic. Help is here. President Biden touting a new relief fund for small business. The Restaurant Revitalization Fund, that's what it's called. It provides nearly $29 billion in direct relief to restaurants, bars, and other eateries. To highlight its success, the Commander-in-Chief stopped in a Taqueria Las Himales. Brother, what'd you get? Tacos and some enchiladas. He says the D.C. restaurant is the first in the country to receive help. More than 186,000 business owners have applied for relief through the fund. The money can be used for mortgage, rent, utilities, maintenance, and payroll. Everything they need to start to stay open and to reopen. Facebook is not open to former President Trump. On Wednesday, he was banned for another six months, accused of inciting the Capitol siege while still in office. The major platforms uh, have a responsibility. Uh, related to the health and safety of all Americans uh, to stop amplifying untrustworthy content. This is a battle bruise in the GOP. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy caught on a hot mic. Uh, I think she's got real problems. Saying he's lost confidence in Congresswoman Liz Cheney after she blasted Trump on Twitter for falsely calling the election fraudulent. It seems as though the Republican Party is trying to identify what it stands for. And they're in the midst of a significant uh, sort of mini revolution. And Congresswoman Cheney is the third highest ranking Republican in the House. She told her colleagues that their party is, quote, at a turning point. That is the latest live in Washington, D.C. Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.